Now, a few years ago, it would have been pretty much a no-brainer when it came to investing in the Tbilisi real estate market. But is that still the case today? In my video, I want to give you 10 reasons why you might still want to consider investing in the Tbilisi real estate market. I will give you disadvantages and my conclusion at the end. So let's look at the positives. Number one, low taxation. Taxation in Georgia is very low. So rental income tax and capital gains tax on selling your property are only 5%. There are no wealth taxes and no inheritance tax for immediate family members like children, parents or a spouse. Number two, reasonable prices. Now, although prices have risen a lot over the last few years, you can still find property for under 2,000 US dollars per square meter on average in the more desirable districts. Number three, decent rental yields. Now, although double, double digit figures are still branded about on the internet, you are more likely to get around five to six percent for long term yields. And please bear in mind, your scope may be limited because Georgians in general do own their homes. So we are talking around the 90 to 95 percent mark. And that's a very high ownership rate. Number four, population growth. Now, even before the influx of Russians, Tbilisi's population was growing, albeit slowly. But with many Russians leaving for Georgia, this is bound to help keep property prices high in the future. Now, we don't know the exact figures, but it, it, it is believed around hundreds of thousands of Russians have left for Georgia. And I think many of those obviously will have ended up in Tbilisi. And many of these are the younger generation. So that's good when it comes to working in the future and the future prospect of house price increases. Now, number five, when it comes to buying real estate, foreigners have the same rights as Georgians. And you don't often find that that this is the case in many other countries. And as well, let's add the buy sell costs are very reasonable as well. Number six, low total government debt to GDP. Now, this stands at around the 40% mark, which is much lower than many Western European countries, such as the UK, Italy, France, Spain, Portugal, and obviously is much lower than the US and Japan. Number seven, and I think this is the biggest point in favour of investing in Tbilisi and Georgia, is the strong GDP growth. Now, from 2010 to 2019, annual GDP growth ranged from 2.9% to 6.2%, and that's a tremendous 10-year performance. Now, although in 2020 GDP fell by 6.8% 6 due to the pandemic, this was more than offset in 2021 with a growth of 10.5%. And it's estimated that the economy in Georgia grew by around 10% in 2022. And that, again, is tremendous growth. Number eight, business friendly. Georgia is a very business friendly country. There is very little bureaucracy and red tape. And to register a company can often take as little as one day. Number nine, Tbilisi does have a good flight network. So Tbilisi Airport has direct connections to many destinations in Europe and the Middle East. And Georgia is considered a beacon of stability for doing business at the intersection of Europe and Asia. Number 10, residency. You can obtain residency through investing in Georgian real estate. If the Georgian real estate you own, which can include multiple properties, is valued at over 100,000 US dollars, you can gain temporary residency for you and your spouse and dependents, and you can renew, renew this on an annual basis. Now, 300,000 US dollars gets you a guaranteed five-year residency. However, there are a lot of disadvantages and for me the main disadvantage of investing in Tbilisi and Georgia is the political situation. 
there are both internal and external political risks. Now, internally, we've seen tens of thousands hold anti-government protests, in particular concerning the controversial Foreign Agents Bill, which has now been dropped. But I think more worrying is that Georgia could become another Ukraine. There are tensions between Georgia and Russia, and there was already a war back in 2008 between Georgia and Russia. So there is certainly a risk there. Number two, um, unregulated real estate agent industry. Now, there is no regulation in the real estate industry, which means it can be difficult to find a good agent in Georgia. And even if you do find a good agent, you'll often find that they have access to only a limited number of properties. Number three, high unemployment. Now, the unemployment in Georgia has been persistently high. At the end of 2022, it stood at about 16%. Now, although it's been much higher, we have to say that it's been over 20% in past years. I think 16% is still very high. Number four, currency risk. Now, over the last two years, the Georgian Lari has strengthened against the US dollar. In March 2021, one US dollar got you 3.3 Lari. Currently, it gets you about 2.6 Lari. So, one could say this might not be a good time to buy. Now, with the euro, um, the difference is even more pronounced. However, if we, if we take a five year period between the US dollar and the Lari, there hasn't been much change, but now might not be a good time to come into this market in particular because the Lari is quite strong. Number five, I think Tbilisi is no longer a bargain it once was. Prices are no longer very cheap, especially in popular districts like Tatsminda, which is in central Tbilisi, where prices at the end of 2022 reached nearly 5,000 lari per square meter, which is around 1,915 US dollars per square meter. So not, and that's the average, not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. And this was up from 3,930 lari, around 1,520 US dollars at the end of 2021. So you've seen here a big increase in prices. So it may not be a good time to buy. And in Vake, where um, Vake is considered the posh area actually of um, Tbilisi, um, prices here have also gone up a fair bit. So at the end of 2021, on average per square meter prices were 3,540 lari per square meter. Um, they went up at the end of 2022 to 4,204 lari per square meter on average. So we are talking around 1,630 US dollars per square meter on average, which certainly isn't that cheap, although Vake is very popular, it's a posh area. But even if we take other areas of Tbilisi, property prices are not that cheap. Most areas now are way way above 1,000 US dollars per square meter on average. So certainly not a bargain. So what's the conclusion here? Um, my conclusion is definitely Tbilisi is not the, the place it once was. Um, I would actually prefer a place like Sofia. And I tell you why, because Sofia in Bulgaria, salaries are much, much higher than Tbilisi, but property prices of Tbilisi are reaching levels of Safia. So this would indicate affordability levels are better in Safia for locals. Also, Bulgaria, for example, has a lot more stability, political stability um, than you have in Georgia. So I think if you were to invest in Tbilisi in Georgia, I would say um, it would have to be part of a larger portfolio. I certainly wouldn't put all my eggs in the Tbilisi real estate market. Um, we've seen what's happening 
um, in the Ukraine. Kiev was once touted as, and rightly so, as one of the best places to put your money in the real estate market. Prices were low, yields were high, but we've seen what's happened. Political instability, um, for me, means Tbilisi's nowhere near the top when it comes to investing in the real estate market. But by all means, if you're one of um, those people that has a large portfolio of property abroad, you may want to invest here. And I do think prices will continue to rise in Tbilisi. I think if you take a 10 year view, um, I think prices will be higher than now, but there could be some turmoil in, in the meantime. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts. Are you considering buying in this um, real estate market? If you've bought in the past, no doubt you have made a lot of money. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks ever so much for watching and I shall see you soon on the next video.